Now we're going to show an example of loading media on the PX940. First you lift the printer door. Next you remove the media guide. You may have to unscrew it a little bit. Then you lift the verifier. Lift the print head. Now you load the media. The media feeds through over here. Then you close the print head. Close the verifier. It's now calibrating. And then last, we put the media guide back on. You have to screw it in a little bit. And then you're ready to print. We're going to go over an example of how to load ribbon onto the printer. First you put the ribbon on. When doing this, make sure that the ribbon goes under the roll instead of over the roll. Next you put it under the print head. It's going to go over and then under the roller. You're going to have to keep going around until it goes nice and tight. Next you lower the print head, lower the verifier, and now you're ready to print. We're going to go over how to calibrate the verifier using the calibration card. First you'd go to the menu, then you go to Wizards, Calibration, Verifier. Following the on-screen example, you put the calibration card in. You would load it as if you were loading media. Pay attention to the card. It says front and back and that's how you want to load it. You want to line the card up to the metal edge over here. After the card is loaded, you want to hit the double arrows. After the calibration process is done, you'll get a message saying calibration passed. Now you're ready to print. We're going to show an example of precision printing on a one inch by a quarter inch media. We're going to go over how to set up the verifier to void and reprint the label. To do that is very easy. In the top left, you'll click the menu first, then you go to settings. Then click on verification settings. There's two menu options. We'll start with verification first. The verification type is set to ISO right now, which is the ANSI standard. And then passing grade set to three. Aperture is set to automatic, which will work for most customers. And a note, passing grade is ranging from four to zero. Next, we'll go to error handling. First is the number of retries. This is the number of attempts the printer will try to reprint a label after failing it. Next is the action the printer will take after voiding a label. Right now it's set to void a label and then reprint it. Save files is storing the images of the failed labels onto the printer. So usually you want to have that enabled. And then lastly we have the void pattern. Right now it's just set to diamond.
we're going to show an example of calibrating media and how zero labels are wasted. First to calibrate you go to the top left menu, then you go to wizards, calibration, click on media, the media is already loaded so we just hit the forward arrow. So we just saw two labels being used for calibration and then retracted for future use. 